Today we'll be learning how to identify the relative sizes of measurement for mass and how to convert measurements of mass within the same system. We're going to learn some benchmarks so that we can estimate the relative size of mass for different items. There's the customary system and metric system. So we have customary units and metric units. Customary units include ounces and pounds, and the metric system includes grams and kilograms. To estimate one ounce, we can think of a slice of bread. A slice of bread is about one ounce. To estimate pounds, or one pound, we can use a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread is about one pound. For a gram, we can think of a unit cube. Like the base pound blocks, one unit cube is about one gram. For kilograms, we can think of a baseball bat. A baseball bat is equal to about one kilogram. We're going to use the metric system benchmarks that we just talked about to approximate mass for different objects. The question stem we'll be using is what is the approximate mass of a blank? A pencil. We're going to estimate about how many grams is a pencil. We're going to complete the sentence stem. The approximate mass of a blank is blank grams. So the approximate mass of the pencil is 10 grams. We're going to use kilograms to estimate the relative size of this chair. The approximate mass of the chair is 4 kilograms. We can use tables to help us understand the conversion between different units within the same system. Here we're looking at the number of grams converted to the number of kilograms. The question we're asking ourselves is what is the relationship between the paired values in the table? We can see that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram, 2,000 grams equals 2 kilograms, and 4,000 grams equals 4 kilograms. So how do we convert from grams to kilograms? Well, we took the number of grams and we divided it by 1,000 to get the number of kilograms. So 1,000 divided by 1,000 equals 1. We can also do the inverse relationship. We can look from kilograms to grams. The number of kilograms times 1,000 equals the number of grams. So 1 kilogram times 1,000 equals 1,000 grams. Now we're going to look at a table where the relationship goes from a larger unit to a smaller unit. We're going to answer the question, how could the relationship between the paired values be represented with a numerical expression? Take a minute to look at this table. It's converting the number of grams to the number of milligrams. One gram equals 1,000 milligrams. Two grams equals 2,000 milligrams. And five grams equals 5,000 milligrams. How could the relationship between the paired values be represented with a numerical expression? The numerical expression would be 1 times 1,000 equals 1,000 milligrams. 2 times 1,000 equals 2,000 milligrams. And 5 times 1,000 equals 5,000 milligrams. We're thinking to ourselves, what did we do to the grams to equal the number of milligrams? So 1 times 1,000 equals 1,000. If you don't have a table to help you understand the relationship between the metric system unit or the customary system unit, you can use the star reference material chart. I've provided a portion of the chart to help you understand the relationship between grams and milligrams. So we see on the chart that one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. How could you use that relationship between grams and milligrams to determine the number of milligrams equal to 7 grams? So 1 gram equals 1,000 milligrams. 7 grams equals 7,000 milligrams. 7 times 1,000 equals 7,000 milligrams. 